Hello everybody, my name is Dalen and I'm here playing some Undertale. Recently I heard of this game and I've decided that I myself shall play it. Let's hope that it is as good as I hear it is because my god I've heard a lot about this game. You have no idea. My friends will not shut up about it. I'm... Oh, here we go. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Very magical. Many years later, dot dot dot, Mount Ebbet, 2010X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Hmm. Little girl, what are you doing? That is a hole. Don't go near the hole. You went near the hole, and you tripped on a vine for going near the hole. That's what you get. And now you're falling. You're gonna die. That's what you get. <sighs> she lands at a bed of flowers. And there is what looks to be pillars and a massive hole from which she should have died the fall. She really should have died from that fall. I'm so confused. How did she not die? Undertale. There's a heart there. To or enter. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna pr I need to click on this. Okay, there we go. Enter. Uh, Z, confirm, X, cancel, C, control. Those are gonna be the ones that I use for now, so... Well, my name is gonna be... Crabip. Sure. Let's go with that. I like Crabip. Yes, my name is Crabip. That vibrations. Alright, so here we are. Bed of flowers. We recently fell here. Let's go this way. Let's see what's going on in this world. Got a nice little thing. Oh, this is a flower. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little of me will have to do. By the way, before we get into this, um, I want to point out, I do already know about this game. I have seen a lot of it. So... It's not like, you know, I've already... I basically know what's going on here, but I want to say before we get into this, uh, if you have not seen this game and you have not played it, go get it. Go play it yourself, if you have the capability to. If you don't have the capability to, or you already know, and you just want to see how I play through it, then welcome. Let's get going. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I'm a little heart. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong if you gain a lot of love. I'm gonna guess it means level. What's love stand for? Why, love, of course. It actually doesn't, but I mean, you know, whatever. You want some love, don't you? Mmm, sounds hot. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Wink. Oh, that's cute. Down here, love is shared through... Little white friendliness pellets. Oh, I like friendship. Are you ready? Move around, gather as many as you can. Nope, dodge. Hey, buddy. You missed them. Let's let's try again, okay? Just kinda get out of the way of that. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. I mean friendly these pellets. Okay, he's he's done with that. Okay, that is a beautiful face. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Okay, he is he's not happy. Okay, that's that's not good. And now he's laughing. Now he's laughing a lot. I'm just gonna stand in the middle here. Oh. Oh, fireball. It's super effective. That's what you get for being a grass type. <laughs> What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. 
Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if someone has fallen down. You're in luck. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Let's go. This way, I'm gonna follow you. Hi. -o. Let's uh, save. Filling you with determination. There's lots of determination in this game. Get ready to see determination a lot. I'm gonna go this way, cause YOLO. I don't need to follow you. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them and one must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. By the way, I just want to say before we start this, for those of you who do not know, there are multiple ways you can play this game. Uh, Undertale is actually known for being the game where you do not have to kill anyone. You can do what is labeled as the pacifist run. You do not even hurt anyone. You just, you be nice. You're a nice guy. You cool like that. Because we cool like that. And that's the run I'm going to do this game. I'm going to do a pacifist run. You have your, your pacifist run, which is, as I just explained, you don't even hurt anyone. You have your neutral run, which is you kill some people, you kill some you don't kill others and then you have your genocide run you kill everything and I don't just mean like you you kill everything you come across I mean there is a literal set number of enemies and you kill them all everything dies okay so to make progress here you will need to trigger several switches do not worry I have labeled the ones you need to flip thanks goat mother that one's flip this one's flip Cool. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Hi, hi there, how are you? Mwah, I give you peace. And so now I have my heart. You encounter a dummy. I will talk to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! Zero gold and XP, cool. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. No, you said very good twice. That is kind of, you know, unneeded. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Nope. Uh, let's check the frogget. He has four attack and five defense. Life is different for this enemy. Hmm. Look at God. <laughs> Jesus, look at the look on her face. She's like, I am tired of you, frogget. I'm done with that shit. What is this? The western room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Oh, thanks for spoiling that. Alright, uh, this is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, so you're making this easy on me, I see. You're such, you're such a waste of fun. Just walking me through this, even though I get the entire hint from the little thing on the wall. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Okay, fine, just if we do what we do. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult I have a difficult request I ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. She just runs away like I'm done. I can't. Ooh. Just kinda walk in. So spooky. Two spooky, three spooky, five me. Yeah. We got this. We got this. Oh yeah. Nothing can stop me. Did it. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. 
However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Nah, fucked it. Nah, fucked it. Nah. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have left the room, haven't you? Or you have not left the room, haven't you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Hi. Hi. Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. <laughs> If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Hmm, it says take one. Take a piece of candy? Sure. Yay, candy! Press C to open the menu. Okay, I had already forgotten about that, so I have my menu. Got my items, monster candy, let's info it. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Why does it have to be non-licorice? Why distinctly non-licorice? It could be anything else. Cool, leaf pile. Oh, I found a monster. Uh, let's just compliment him. Oh, it was flattered anyway. Blush is deeply cool. All right, now it's time for the bullet hell aspect of this game. Alright, Frog seems reluctant to fight you. Let's spare him. So, what is unique about this game is, as you just saw, I didn't have to fight him at all. All that happened was, I was standing there, and Froggit, you know, you have your option of fighting, which will bring up sort of a little attack menu. You try to, you know, strike as closely as you can. Hold up. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon. Oh. I see. Thank you very much. Click. So, if I act until his name ends up as yellow, then I can just show him mercy, and there's- oh, God dang it, Toriel. Hello, this is Toriel. Do you not- Excuse me? Do you not dislike butterscotch, do you? That was weird phrasing for me. I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way, click. Okay, as I was trying to explain, <clears throat> um, I forgot where I was going with that. Dang it! Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Okay, so here, here's where I was going. So you act, and in any sort of act or attack you do, you get a response, which is their bullet hell. So here, his bullet hell was a frog jumping and you get kind of, you know, the yellow aspect, but if you notice, if I don't kill them, I don't get experience. All I get is gold. So it's definitely, you know, not possible to level up. Son of a... Blah. Okay, so I need to go up against the wall. And here's this. But in what would be... Oh, he doesn't even want to fight. In what would be the genocide version of this game, you would literally stand in this area just killing everything. Son of a bitch. Killing everything until nothing else would show up. And then in neutral, as you noticed that frog had earlier mentioned, you know, fighting until something just doesn't, you know, want to fight anymore. Uh, Whimsum approaches meekly. He doesn't even want to fight. Okay, cool. I'll just leave you be. God, what? Dang it. I'll figure it out eventually, don't worry. There's just gonna be a couple fights until then. But I definitely plan on having a genocide run after this one, hopefully with some friends. So I mean, yeah, don't, don't just think I'm gonna stop after this. I plan on enjoying this game as much as I possibly can. Molds ball and molds. Okay, cool. So I'll just you know spare them both. 
Ugh, there we go. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Oh, thanks, bud. I really helped. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll move them. What? Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? <sighs> Bro. Bro, the button is here. The button is here. Do you see the button? It is here. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay. Think I got it. Wee! He pushed me with him. Bro. Bro. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Well, maybe if you wouldn't try to get me killed. Oh, really, I'm fighting on top of spikes. I don't exactly trust this. Alright. Oh. But yeah, each, each enemy is unique in that its attack style is different. So, you know, each enemy kind of has their own special attack style. Like how with the frog, he either jumps at you or he has flies. And it's different for other enemies. I haven't exactly seen every enemy in the game, so I wouldn't know. Uh, we'll go ahead and save here. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole to get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Alright, here's the cheese. The cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. And then there's a mouse hole up there. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Look at him. He's just laying there. Sleeping. Sleeping a lot. Are they gone yet? Sleep. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud, really re re loud, repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. He's just like... Z -Z 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 I guess I'll move it with force. Here comes Naps the Blook. I will... I will flirt, or I'll cheer him on. I gave him a patient smile. <laughs> okay, he's crying on me. But yeah, a lot of this game is basically avoiding confrontation. I just weigh you down. Whoa. <sighs> really not feeling up to it. Sorry. Looks a little bit better. Well, I'm glad he looks a little bit better. I'll cheer him on some more. Tell him a little joke. <laughs> Oh, no, more tears. He's rapid-firing tears. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not good. I took some damage. I'll flirt with him. No, stop. Please, do not cry. You are beautiful. I'll cheer you on one more time. I want us to show you something. Let me try... <gasps> He's crying upwards. I call it Dapper Blue <laughs> He's wearing a fucking top hat. He eagerly awaits my response. I will flirt with you now. Oh no. He started crying. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, he disappeared. No, not stop. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Cool. What do we got here? We got... Oh, I don't have 7G. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. Four spiders have spiders. Oh, okay. Ribbit. Ribbit. Sorry. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. That's sad. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen, but what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say at the least. Ribbit. I like how I can just understand them. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you were quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a YOLO name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it if their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, 
but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave it, or you will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. <sighs> there is just one switch. Let's go here. I did. But I see items. Oh, and enemies. Luke's Junior. Luke's. Um, let's not pick on him. Finally, someone gets him. Oh, oh. Lux is staring right through you. Oh, cool. Just spare him. Get five gold, dang. Alright, so I'll go down here. Because I see this. Oh, it's a enemy. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh, dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Cool. Eat your greens, so I'm going to guess that means green is good. Cool. Vegetoid cackles softly. Get four more gold. Aw, oh, yeah. Because I'm cool. Very cool. What is this? You found a faded ribbon. What is the faded ribbon? Faded ribbon is armor defense three. You are cuter. Monsters won't hit you as hard. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. I'll equip it. Alright, that's that's all I'm gonna pick up. Let's just go to the God dang it. Looks, looks, don't pick on. Finally someone gets it. okay. He has little spermies. Look at the spermies go. Him and his big eye and his white teeth. Ooh. The far two is not exactly blue. it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Blue, yellow, red. I feel like that's important. So what is this? If you can read this, press the blue switch. That would be this one, because it's blue, yellow, red. That means yes. That's a bad thing. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Let's go for the migobs. Talk. I don't care. Contains vitamin A. Okay, okay, okay. Vegetoid gave him a serious smile. Is that a... Vegetar gave a mysterious smile. Let's just go to him, and we'll go for dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Ah, I don't like this. Alright, well, Vegetoid is good, so I can get rid of Vegetoid. Mmm, cha-cha-cha. Oh, he's doing a little dance. Look at him go. Mizgot doesn't have a kid in the world. He's done. Six gold. Cool. I am only slightly injured. If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, more fight. Well, I can get rid of him. Mm, cha cha cha. Okay, so sparing is just what gets him to immediately dance, is what it looks like. So I'll just get rid of them both. Red switch, press it. Yes. Hear a clicking sound. Whoop, go up. And then it's going to be the yellow switch, I'm sure, which is right here. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Clicking sound. Adi! Wait, there's something to the right! It's a friggin... Ribbit. Ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit, what does that mean? Oh. Oh. You found the toy knife. Um. I don't want that. Knives are for hurting people. I don't want to hurt people. Hurting people is mean. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. And then she's coming down to get me. Oh, she's calling me. But she doesn't realize I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one, give me a second as I shift in my chair. This is going to be, by the way, a rather long episode compared to the others that will follow, since this is basically just the big major tutorial, and I don't want to just sort of leave it up to that. 
Every time this old grow or any time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. That's depressing. Let's go ahead and save. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Lots of determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate at your arrival. I want you to have a nice time leaving here. Leaving? Living. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, she went this way. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Pats my head. Oh, that's adorable. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Bye. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, you know, go to bed. I just jump into bed. Don't climb or anything. Just a literal hop, skip, and a jump. There's a pie on the floor. You find a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I will keep that. Toriel. Toriel. Oh, I found Toriel. Hi, Toriel. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Not really. For those of you who haven't realized, her name is a play on words. She's the tutorial. Toriel. <laughs> so she's teaching you how to play. <coughs> Actually, perhaps, that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. By the way, I love the facial expressions on the sprites. It's all amazing. The fact that it's not just like one base expression like they actually change. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How do I exit the runes? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a rattler? Interesting. How do I exit the ruins? Uh, I have to do something. Stay here. And she runs off. What's up here? It's the kitchen. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. How is that weird? Sometimes you don't want your chocolate to melt, so you put it in the fridge, so it doesn't melt, even if it's brand name. Brand name chocolates melt too. So why you gotta be that way? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, I will not. I want to leave. I have a home. I have a family. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No. You do not command me. You are not my mother. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No, you are not my mother. You do not command me. So you want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh god, is this a fight? Mortal Kombat! Da, 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 da. Let's talk to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> this music, though. Let's spare her. Dot, 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 dot. <sighs> this game really makes you love yourself because of your insane abilities to dot. Ow! Really, I'm not good at this game. I'll go to the monster candy. You ate the monster candy. You recovered 10 HP. 
Okay, stay there. Prepares a magical spell. Question mark? Yeah, because if you remember that frog it earlier said that it's a smart idea not to fight people sometimes. You don't always have to fight people. She is acting aloof. Attack or run away! I will not attack. I love you too much, Goat Mom. What are you proving this way? Okay. Toriel takes a deep breath. Fight me or leave! God. She looks through me. I will use a bandage. You reapply the bandage. You recover 10 HP. Cool! God, jeez, I'm bad at this. I will just spare her. Stop it! Ah, no. This is not good. Stop looking at me that way. Tor prepares a magical attack. I will spare her again. Go away! Okay, I need to heal. I, I, I know that I'm using stuff that I shouldn't be. Very irrationally, but I need to heal because I don't want to restart this. <laughs> she is acting aloof. Okay, I'm somewhat getting it. Da, 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 da. She's not happy with this. Okay, she's avoiding me. Toriel looks at, you know, you know what to do. You, I know you want to go. Okay, I finally learned what she's saying. I know you want to go home, but that, 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 that will spare her. But please, go upstairs now. Spare. I promise I will take good care of you. Spare. I know we do not have much, but... Spare. We have a good life here. Spare. Why are you making this so difficult? Spare. Please, go upstairs. Spare. Da 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 Spare. Haha. Uh -huh. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. Spare. Spare. No. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get to use some... It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, she hugged me. Lots of hugging. Hugging is nice. Goodbye, my child. And she's walking away. Wait, she turned around. Okay, she turned around again. She walked away. Door. Long hallway. We're still going. We're getting there. Maybe someday we'll do it. We'll reach the end. He's gonna hate it. I did it. Oh. Oh, God. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will that do? But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> He suddenly became very disturbing. Oh, he's back to normal. Okay, bye. I'll miss you, Flowey. Flowey the flower. And your little white love pellets. Undertale. Da -da -da. By Toby Fox. By the way, yes, shout out to Toby Fox. I fucking love this game. 
I suck at it, apparently, but I love it. It's fun. So, this is where we're going to end this episode. I hope you guys have all enjoyed, because I have. I'm definitely going to keep playing this game, and I hope that you guys enjoy watching it. My name has been, and still is, of course, Dalen. This has been Undertale, and, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>